The conversation about race is happening nationally. You can see that in a lot of the presidential debates. A lot of people, it's this rhetoric about making America great and making America what it was in the past. But a lot of people don't want to acknowledge how this country was founded on a lot of race on a lot of racism and racist ideas. It's an uncomfortable conversation to have because uh, when um, when your privilege is pointed out, it's oftentimes um, uh, your instinct is to put up a def defensive wall and say that these aren't uh, real issues that um, uh, it's not actually affecting anything, um, but they're. The real issues that um, a lot of students um, that are uh, white just aren't able to see. People are afraid of race, and while I understand that it's a social construction, the realities of race are very real. Like, what I experience is very real. If anything, it's important to talk about race because people sometimes think it's not a racial issue. People think, like, oh, we're all the same. I think that mentality of uh, colorblindness is in, in and of itself a form of like racism um, because if you are a minority you're more likely to realize that you know America is actually not a level playing field for a lot of different things. Like not to see the color lines and everything like that where like in fact that's not true. If anything I can say you are Caucasian, I'm African American, you are Asian American, I'm still African American, you are Latino, I'm still African American. I think people have the idea that race is something that only affects people of color. If you ask any, any person of color they will say that although we have banned uh, legal segregation, people have found ways to maybe unconsciously perpetuate uh, segregation in a more covert nature that's not uh, authorized by law, but it still happens. It affects everyone because we, we all share this space, especially this campus. We share so many spaces. And our campus is too uncomfortable talking about race. America is too uncomfortable talking about race. I'm always on the sense of like being cautious and never feeling safe. I get scared for my friends walking alone at night on this campus which I feel is very safe for myself, and not safe for them. There are uh, students of color here who consistently feel unsafe uh, for lots of reasons, and a large portion of that reason is the way that they're treated by their white peers. It is important to talk to people who experience racism. So that we can make it safer for everyone. We can't just hold hands and keep our mouths shut and pretend that everything will be okay because it won't. The way that they act, consciously and unconsciously, is harmful to students of color here. I feel this tension in which it doesn't have to be there. For somebody else, it might be different, but for me, it's always that, it's, it's always that tension, and it's been like that for generations. Now, if we never talk about something, you never get comfortable talking about something. More important than talking to them, listen to them. Uh, hear what they have to say, hear what racism is like. Acknowledging that is, you know, crucial. Like, we can't move forward if we don't acknowledge that. And I think the University of Wisconsin-Madison is too prestigious of a university to not be challenging, you know, ideas. It's important to talk about race because no one should live in fear because of the color of their skin. Because everyone deserves to feel safe.